Hello everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma. Today we, I am showing you our brand new die called the Melt Carton die. Um, basically it's a super duper cute little treat box that you could put lots of stuff in here, lots of different, a variety of items. Um, I do have the scalloping at the top of mine along with stitching along the top and then all the score lines that will help you put this together. Now there were many questions that whether it fit in the cuddle bug or not, okay? Now, my my goal is to always make sure it fits with the cuddle bug because I know a lot of you still have this machine, okay? Okay, I I like measured it and re-measured this so many times and I didn't realize that it was such a tight fit. So as you can see, it basically fits on the plate perfectly. So now since it does that, it's a little bit tricky because you want to make sure it doesn't move. So if you have the cuddle bug and if you purchase this, I'm going to show you a trick to make it work, okay? I'm just using this, uh, it's not gauze, this is like that gauze tape. I have like a few rolls of this so whenever Anthony was injured, <laughs> we would, the doctor would always give him a roll of this. <laughs> so I have a few of them on hand here. So, Or you could use washi tape, whatever. It's just that I have this in the room here. Okay, so, because it will cut through that, all right? So that's what you want to do. And then you want to put your paper on top, okay? Just like so. And then just go ahead and layer everything on. Of course, you could do it this other way. All right. Now, there's going to be an extra thing that I'm going to do just to make sure these do not move, okay? So let me put the paper here this way better. And then we're going to put this right here. We're going to line that up. Just make sure the paper is on there perfectly. And we're going to line this up just like so. But we're just going to make sure it's all even at the bottom. So the extra step we're going to do just to make sure this doesn't move we're going to put some, this is just some painter's tape. We're going to put it at the bottom. I know this is a little ridiculous just to cut a die, but I'd hate for you to have to go out and purchase another machine just to cut this die because that would not make sense. That's not what I, <laughs> those are not my intentions. Okay, so just to make sure they stay together because once they move, it's not going to cut this end part. So just a little tip there, okay? So just for you, so for everybody who ha does have like the Vagabond machine, the big shot, um, the, these, this will fit in there for sure, okay? I promise you. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and run it through our cuddle bug here. I have to get used to using this again. Okay, once you run it through, wow, this was a lot of work. I haven't used a cuddle bug in like forever. I'm so used to pushing the button. <laughs> Spoiled, huh? Okay, so you just want to just, you know, take that little tape off. Um, then let's check it out here. Yep, and it worked. There it goes, your little, isn't that perfect? I love the way, and then there are the little score marks. That you could go ahead so let's go ahead and put it together really quick okay I did put one together during my release um, during the release week I did it on camera for all of you so let's go ahead and just do it again really fast yeah you just so there's a way to work with it now people so if you do have the cuddle bug it will work it just takes a little work okay just make sure it's on that plate perfectly um, but if you all want to definitely one day upgrade, I would highly suggest the Big Shot. So this way you don't have to do too much work and those plates are just a little bit bigger. Then you don't have to worry about it at all. And then if you want to be really, <laughs> if you really want to upgrade, sometimes they have the Vagabonds with the Tim Holtz one um, on sale. Or you can use a coupon. It depends. I remember getting it for a good deal on Amazon one time. They had it on a special a while ago. I got mine in, what, a year and a half or two years ago? I can't remember, but um, I got a really good deal. And that one, you just push your, you push the finger. I eventually had to get rid of the, um, well, I didn't want to get rid of it. I just kind of, after, after a while, I didn't, the reason why I didn't get another cuddle bug again, because I have carpal tunnel. 
and it started that it was really kicking in with that since I use my dies all the time so basically as you can see I folded those two you'll see the score lines like that and then this next one you're gonna go ahead and just fold over just like so fold it the opposite direction okay and then there's little score marks here it looks like a little diamond or a little you just want to go ahead and just give those a little quick fold as well and then you want to get some score tape now unless you have some really um, permanent adhesive to use here that would be great if not I'm using this express it score tape if you have the red tape you know the score tape that definitely will work because you don't want your box to fall apart especially if you're giving it to someone all right let me go ahead and just trim this really quick all right I use the wrong scissors okay and then the best way to do it is just go ahead and just fold it over like so this is the best way I found the easiest way I found to put it together and then just like that then I just kind of rub the adhesive to make sure it works it stays okay and then you want to fold the two short guys down like that okay and then get another one of this little tape and put it on one of the longer sides just like so okay then you want to flip it over and just kind of smooth it down with your bone folder on the inside just like that and then you could you could uh, if you want to make a little window the time to do that is after you cut out your your box go ahead and get a little die like um, like I have this little flower die you could go ahead and put, obviously you can't put it together before you do that so after you cut out your your box you might want to run it through again just to make a little window um, if not you don't have to you could just go ahead and just embellish it before you put it together however however way works best for you okay and then when cutting this this is like a thinner card stock here but when you do cut it out definitely I would not recommend a heavy card stock because you want it to be able to you want to be able to work with it easily okay and then you could go ahead and just use a clothespin to hold it together you could staple it you could so many different ways you could do it but that's it that's our new little treat bag so hopefully you enjoyed this video and for those of you who have questions about the cuddle bug it does work but it takes a little the little effort to make sure it, you, it works <laughs> because it will work I promise you I just showed you here on the video that it does um, so that's it everybody have a fabulous day and I will see you soon bye bye